I want to show you something I came up with today. I get really frustrated when painting. I love to paint on panels and I love to paint plein air and I have an easel for that. But when I'm at home and I'm working on a large easel, it's really hard to put your panel on this easel and paint to the edges. You also get shadows when you put it under the clamps here. Plus, I need to move this shelf up and down. It's heavy, it's just been a pain. So this morning, I thought we need to come up with something. And I asked my husband to build something and see if we could come up with something that would work. And he wasn't too excited about building something. So I was thinking, well, wait a minute. Let me see if I can come up with something. I came up with this. It was so easy. So I have a, this is about a quarter inch hardwood panel here. This is my base. This is just a canvas right here, but I can put different sizes. If I want even smaller, I would think that even a six by six would work. Um, so the way that this works is I'm just using clamps. Um, a cheap hardware store type of ruler, he cut it for me. This was a yardstick and it measures across 22 inches, not quite as wide as the, the hardwood panel. The hardwood panel is like 23. Um, but it's thin enough, so it doesn't cast a shadow on my panel. For the bottom here, this is a paint stick. This is just one of those paint stirrers you get at the hardware store also. Um, just with some big, big clamps from Home Depot, I think. I use these a lot for things when I'm painting or doing other artwork. And it's narrow too. Not as narrow as this small yardstick here, but um, still good enough to put on the bottom. I guess if I had another one of these, I maybe would use it on the bottom. But this seems a little sturdier for the panel. Um, this is an 11 by 14 but I could easily do an eight by 10. And if I need, I like to paint, I was taught to paint that when you, your, your canvas should be straight in front of you, in front of your hand. So this would be a little too low for me. I would want it probably just up here a little bit. But anyway, it rests on there. Stick this yard stick up here. Clamp, and I probably could use these big clamps too, but they're harder for me to open and close. They're hard on my wrist, so there we go. Now this is a little loose, so I can adjust. That's why I think the hard, harder clamps would be working. There it is, it's not moving at all. This is gonna work out just great. I can paint all the way to the edges. I can go off the, the panel if I need to. I can still look at my subject matter. I can turn this hardwood panel up the other way because I could see even using larger panels than eight by tens, nine by twelve, and six by six. So anyway, that is my my painting tip for the day. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and this was like the easiest fix and it didn't cost us a penny. We just went to the garage and grabbed a few things we found and I think it's going to work out perfect. Anyway, have a good day. Go paint!